I know the man who throws the switch that turns the stars all on at night. They're on a dimmer switch, you know, so he can make them soft or bright. He lives up high upon a hill, up in a tower made of stone. And all the stuff to do with stars is ruled by he and he alone. The sun went down, the sky went black Mommy, children cried The stars are not appearing as they should The switch around the stars to spare Things weren't looking very good Starlight, star bright, children began The ancient rhyme, but then they stopped For none could see even the first of stars Above the chimney tops I wish I may, I wish I might, they might have said, if there were stars, but there were not, the switcher on outside the tower was locked and barred. No stars appeared, so ships at sea began to lose their way and bump into each other helplessly, the navigators all were stumped. Starboard, cried the captain's bold, but with no stars to guide the way. Around in circles, tall ships went, tossing, turning in the spray. The switcher Ron ran through his yard beneath the trees upon a hill, and found a ladder under one for apple picking, leaning still. He mustered all the strength and old bones to take the ladder down, and huffing, puffing, made his way back to the tower the first time around. Meanwhile in the sky, the moon became confused without the stars. She thought it was a night of rest, and so did Venus, so did Mars. In fact, the word went out to comets, asteroids, and meteorites. It's a night off, go back to sleep, nobody has to work tonight. Astronomers turn telescopes this away and that away. Spinning gears and pulling ropes, but blackness ruled the night that day. Grown-ups growing mushy talked of true love that would last as long. As stars in heaven then looked up and hoped their estimates were wrong. Astrologers had no idea of what to make out of their charts. Calculating horoscopes regarding fortunes, fates, and hearts. They scratched their heads and finally decided just to chuck it off. The family crystal ball. The man who switches on the stars leaned up his ladder round the back and climbed to where a window was left open just a tiny crack. Enough to slide his fingers underneath and give a mighty heave. And up the window flew. He almost tumbled down, I do believe. Reaching out, he grabbed the ledge, studying the ladder now. He swung his tired, aching legs over the windowsill somehow. He climbed inside and found the steps that lead up to the tower top. He took them all in twos and threes, all fifteen flights, and never stopped. All over the world by now, a panic had begun to grow. The stars were gone, but where or why, even the wise ones didn't know. Perhaps it is the end of things, tomorrow there may be no sun. But suddenly a switch was thrown, before they all became undone. He made it to the tower top. He found the switch, he switched it on. The stars came out, the sky grew bright, at last something to wish upon. 
The captains and the navigators had the means to find their way. And sweetheart strolling in the park had something poet-like to say. The asteroids and meteorites and comets blazed to life again. The planets woke, astronomers resumed the search for number ten. Horoscopes were read and singing twinkle twinkle little star. People really meant it when they said, I wonder what you are. The switch that turns the stars above us on that night Heaved a heavy sigh and set the dimmer switch for extra bright He sank into an easy chair and thought of that night's escapade And said tomorrow morning I'm going to have a spare key made 